In a corner of the vast Newport railway workshops, ageing train sheds are being given a new lease of life. It is all of the jigs, fixtures, some upgrading to the overhead craneage and really about a beautification program to ensure that our workers are operating in a world-class uh, manufacturing facility. In just a few months, workers here will start building Melbourne's new high-capacity trains. The body shells will be shipped in from China, then moved inside to a new production line to be fitted out with electrical equipment and internal furnishings before being marshalled into seven car sets and towed to Pakenham for testing. We have nothing other than high levels of confidence about the quality of the product that we'll produce and we'll be accountable to maintain. When production ramps up here later next year, the company expects to be completing one new carriage every two days. Among those working on the project will be dozens of apprentices, like John Hobbs, who lost his job at the Williamstown docks in December. Yeah, there's a, one familiar face from the dockyard, so I, I see him on a regular basis, and with the work that's coming up, it'd be good to see um, possible opportunities for others that are, that are in that industry or other industries that are, are looking for work. They're also looking to engage with Toyota, uh, bring workers across who will finish on the production lines there later in the year, provide them new opportunities. The new trains are expected to take their first passengers in 2019. Andrew Lund, Nine News.